This is a new project that I have to make for edit my Roy Rim Gab. This is like a, let's say a long tunic, something inspired by kind of divologies, Vikings, and a bit also what you'll find on the Mongols. There is a few things like there which are important as I will fight this part on the sleeve. You can see this is just the outside there. It's a nice wool, you can see perhaps the pattern. And it will be linen with linen. And then I will add some decorations there will be colors and also the other things depending on the time I have. Well, can't see much for now, but this is starters. Next step for the new garment for my Roy Rim, there is the leaning. It's linen, convenient. You can see I uh, just uh, finished to sew it. There is still the building thread. In, uh, in red and there you can have an idea about how I did pattern the thing this is especially interesting there for the armpit for a much less chances to break it and this is also something that I get uh, the inspiration from my Taekwondo or Judo throttles. That way, there is less chance to break the, the side where there is a lot of tension on your garment. This is a little piece of advice for you if you need to do something like that. And then I have to remove the beauty thread and put the inside leaning with the outside, which is wool. See for this. Here are some progress. Uh, you can see the inside, especially there the collar. Um, this part here is in fact linen that I did put in the inside. Behind the linen, there is a very really thick fabric, mostly wool, I guess. This will help the collar to stand correctly, and this also help for, of course, the look. Also, you can see here the borders, the stitching there, made by the machine. It's when uh, the, the fabric is not that tight, and when I could be, I'm afraid, could be loose and it could break. So, this is something for help and prevent uh, breaking. And this, that way, will stand for a longer time as I also want to fight with this, I want something quite durable. Then I will finish the collar and turn everything inside out and you will see the result. Now you can see some progress on the Roy Rim, uh, let's say, coat. I finish uh, the sewing with the machine, so all the inside and I did close the sleeve. And now I have to sew by hand this part you can see in green this is linen and this will cover the, the machine because it's really ugly and I will also add on this some trim which may, will be made also on linen you will see later there will be also other part made of linen again there will be green on the border there on the color, there will be a border too, there will be also, you will see the brim and at the bottom too, there I plan to do the same, add some green, add some trim and this will have a better look. So this is all for now. Now you can see that I did sew this border there, now I look down the other side it looks in the inside and what I plan later on is to add on this sleeve and on all the parts of this garment a brim 
make this a, a trim. It's linen and it fits what we can imagine about the royal rim style. So this is another detail to add. And that's also something that I will put on the collar there. And it will be also on the bottom. The bottom will be basically like a plan here for the side, here for the sleeves. Bottom will be the same. Difference will be on the collar and it will be also on the chest on the opening. 